Hey guys, it's Andrew back here with another smoke review review today from Andrew Smokes, and I will be doing a review today on the Marlboro Red 100s. Um, I usually don't do two sh the short cigarettes. I know people have said these have a different taste, but I'm gonna do the 100s because that's what I smoke. I do not smoke shorts, king's eyes, so and I do not smoke the long ones. So before I get into this review video, once we do the Virginia Slims, I'll be happy to do those. I just don't, or Misty's, I just don't smoke long cigarettes like that. Or Moore's would be fine too. Um, there's 20 Class A cigarettes. Um, Philip Morris, USA, Richmond, Virginia. There is FSC. Um, Surgeon General's warning says, smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancy. Now I do like how the US does it on the side. Where it's not all over the whole pack, like, some, like, I mean, some countries, I'm going to say this real quick, some countries, they do a full pack, like Australia now, they're going to the full pack, where it's 100%, and then just the bottom has, like, where it says, 20 Class A cigarettes will be your brand, name, and what kind of cigarette. I mean, can I know Canada has went to, um, the 75% of the pack in one language, 75% of the pack English. And then it's your, you open this, there's a card inside, and I don't like that. I mean, I'm not going to go buy something that I have to look at all the day. I know people say that um, we know what cigarettes can do, because we do. Everyone knows that cigarettes can hurt you. So, I mean, that's one thing. But when a, when your government has that much control, they can put on a pack. The whole entire pack works. can't even tell you what the brand is or anything, and they make the cigarette companies do that. I don't think that country should have cigarettes, just my opinion. Because when you're when you're told by your government how bad they are, that's just out on. I mean that's just bad. It's like you walk out in your driveway and picture picture your car sitting there with a wrap over it that says this car may cause death. Not that it will, but it can't. Or this car may paralyze you. Or going to McDonald's and on the top of the Big Mac Big Mac box or um burger box saying Eating fattening foods may cause heart disease or clotted arteries, which it can. I'm not saying it won't, but it can. Or heart attacks. It can. That's why I'm just ranting about that for a minute. I thought everyone needs to know that. Okay. Um, and there is um, a little gold band around it. It says, nothing about this cigarette packaging colors should be interpreted to mean safer. So, I'll give it a medium pack. I like to pack 10 and then flip it around and do 10 again. There you go. There's my pack. Taking the cellophane off here. Comes off really nice. I like that. Opening the pack here. There is a um, standard silver foil with the Marlboro symbol in the middle, which is nice. Let's see how the foil comes out, guys. Comes right out. I like that. I've had some packs where the foil doesn't brush the tobacco off. The foil doesn't come off all the way. I mean, it just half comes off, and then it rips the back off, so then you got to take the back foil out. Um, I got these down at Puff and Perk in Houston, Texas. Excuse me, Perk and Puff. In Houston, Texas, at Tobacco for You at their smoke shop for I want to say four fit four sixty a pack, and I bought a carton so it was fifty eight. wasn't bad. I mean I liked it because they lowered their price. It used to be seventy, but now seventy five. But now they they lowered in Houston. So taking out taking out a cigarette here. If I can get one out here, guys. All right. Taking, taking a look at a cigarette. I do have it packed a little bit, but it didn't pack tremendous, so I do a manual pack. We gotta get packed down a little bit more, so I can taste the paper. And guys, my finger still is wrapped. It still has not healed yet, so when it fully heals, I'll get this wrap off. Um, it has packed down a little bit more, but I'm gonna pack it a few more. One more. Okay, it's packed down enough where I can get a paper taste on it. 
Um, taking a look at this cigarette, it says Marlboro in black ink and cork style filter. And let's see if it pulls away any from the... Wants to pull away on this side just a tiny bit, but... And it wants to pull away right there as well on that side. But it's not bad. And two gold bands. You got to have a smell of this cigarette. Very rich. Very clean smell. Smells very good. Um, dry pop. Very clean. You can taste the tobacco. I mean, when I just do a dry pop, it's just letting air go through the tobacco. So I can get a taste for what tobaccos actually taste like. Very rich. Very clean. I like that. Alright, guys. Um, this will be a Marlboro 100. Red. Let's light it up today. First initial puff, I mean, I get very to little paper taste. Very little to little to no paper taste. I get like, maybe like a little burnt paper, but it's nothing bad. All right, we'll do the body. The body in a cigarette. Big body. I really like that. It's almost as big as the Pall Malls that I did the review for about a week ago. Um, let's do an inhale, a small inhale. Um, no pins and heels, but you can feel the smoke going down a little bit. But it is good. And it's a very clean, good flavor. You at least can taste the tobacco. Very quality tobacco. Big amount of smoke comes off of this. And it is burning a little fast. Um, there is a little runner on it right there. If you can't tell, it's running down a little bit, but that's it should catch. Catch up. Alright. Um, we'll do now the a deep inhale to the bottom of our lungs. Let's see if we get any kick. Pins and needles. No harshness, no pins and needles. I mean, nothing. It's a really good cigarette. We'll do, we'll blow it out of our nostrils and see what smell it puts off, guys. Um, very good, rich smell. I like that. It's a very, if you like very cigarette cigarettes, this is one that I would recommend you smoking. Um, burn time on this about five to seven minutes. Not too, not as long as a palm oil. Palm oil lasts me ten to twelve. If I smoke it fast, about fifteen to twenty. If I smoke it, just smoke it. There's a lot of smoke coming off the end of this. We'll do. We'll rate the pack design. I'll give that a ten out of ten. I like that pack. It's very cool and it stands out, and catches your eye. Body, I'll do another body and we'll rate that. Body, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It's a very big body. Almost as big as a uh, palm oil. Uh, we'll do a flick test real quick. Stayed on there very nice. I like that. Alright. We'll do um, flavor taste and aroma. I will give the flavor, taste, and aroma 10 out of 10. I've never had a cigarette that was, guys, that had put off this much flavor and smoke. I like it a lot. It's very quality. And I get these, in, if anyone is watching these, this review from Houston, Texas and Clear Lake area, I get these at, Puff and, at Perk and Puff on Clear Lake City Boulevard in Clear Lake, Texas for $58 a carton.
and that's about what I pay, but it's very good. I mean, they were 70 something a carton a couple months ago, but they lowered. Now they're the lowest price in Houston there, I've seen. Uh, we'll do the smell. Smell. I'll give that um, 9 out of 10. It's a very good smell. I like that. And, yeah. We'll smoke the rest of this on the review. And I'm going to do a few smoke tricks now. Um, rings. O's. Haven't got too good with the O's yet. But I'll do one more. There's some O's there for you guys. Alright. Overall rating on this cigarette. 9 out of 10. It's very good. I just wish it would burn a little bit longer. That's all. Um, yeah. And if you guys would like me to do any more reviews for any other brand, the only ones I, uh, I don't do are really, really cheap budget brands. But, I mean, if you guys want me to do those, like the budgets, like the basics by Marlboro, those went up in price because they went up $2 in price. They were 3 now they're almost six because like five sixty five eighty because they have because they're trying to um uh take out the brand because no one's buying it as much. I can do the um Benson and Hedges. I can do unfiltered. I can do anything. I mean, you guys just need to comment below and tell me what cigarette and what brand you'd like me to do. I mean, they have Dorals. I mean, I can do anything. I can get basically anything down here. The ones I usually smoke are ones that I would like to smoke all day, every day. So, I mean, but you guys can give me, sh uh, tell me. And if you guys can give me a brand and I actually do like it, I will give you a shout out for that. So, yeah. So, thanks. I was, this is Andrew, back from Andrew Smokes, saying thanks for watching, and hope to see, hope to see you guys comment, and, um, comment, like, and subscribe. I would like to get more subscribers, so I know you guys actually are enjoying my videos, so I can put up more for further, so, and I want to talk about something real quick before I sign off here, um, they say on here, um, for special offers, Marlboro.com, women to eligible smokers, 21 plus. I don't understand that, guys. I don't understand that. Because I went to Walgreens the other day, and I asked the lady for a pack of the Marlboro Reds with the, uh, 50 cent soft pack, or a dollar. And she wouldn't give it to me because I wasn't 21. I don't understand why if it's already on the pack, I can't get the 50 cents off. Because the lady had told me I can't get the 50 cents off because I'm not 21. And I thought, well, they already put it on the pack. Why can't I have it? She got me a pack that didn't have a coupon on it. Because I wasn't 21. I'm 19. And I felt like, what's, I asked her, I said, what's the, she said it's really stupid, I know. But she said they just don't let her give them to people like that. And I said to her, what's the difference? I mean, the U.S. has this thing that says no... No coupons under 21, but I'm like, it's not alcohol. Can't get you drunk. I mean, I'm 19, and I could smoke it a year ago when I was 18. I don't get the whole have to be 19, uh, 21 to get coupons. If anyone can tell me why they're, why that's out there, I will um, give you a shout-out and do a pack of your choice. And if anyone has the um, Chesterfields in their area and would like to mail me a pack, I will give you my, you can message me and I'll give you a message me on Facebook at Andrew Walker. Or um, you can message me, um, message me a comment below and I'll give you my phone number. And I will certainly pay for the uh, shipping. I'll mail you back money for the shipping. No problem on that one.
um, just tell me if what if you have Chesterfields, the filtered 100s, filtered Chesterfield 100s, or the any kind of Chesterfields. I like to try those. I like to do a bunch of reviews on those. Either light menthol, not the the heavy menthol, light menthol, full flavored, or ultra lights. Give me one of those, and I will be certain to do your review and give you a shout out. So, thanks for watching this review today. This is Andrew Smokes signing off. Thanks, guys.